In this video series we're taking a look at matrices and in part 5 we're going to focus on the inverse matrix. So we've seen in previous videos that matrices can be added, subtracted and multiplied but there's no way to divide them. The closest we can get to dividing is by multiplying a matrix by its inverse. So when we multiply a matrix by its inverse we get the identity matrix. And the equation to represent this is capital A to represent our matrix and then capital A to the power of minus 1 to represent the inverse. So this doesn't make, mean 1 divided by that matrix, it means the inverse of that matrix. And when we multiply these together we get I, the identity matrix. So here's an example, we've got a 2 by 2 matrix with entries of 4, 3, 1, 1. When we multiply that by its inverse we get the identity matrix. Now the inverse of this particular matrix is another 2 by 2 matrix which has entries of 1, minus 3, minus 1 and 4. And multiplying those together we get the identity matrix as shown and as already mentioned. Okay, so the first part is the matrix, then we've got the inverse and then we've got the identity matrix. Now in order to find the inverse of a matrix we can use this equation here. So we have 1 divided by a times d minus b times c and then we have to take whatever number this is and multiply it by this matrix here. So we have we've, we've reversed the entries here so d and a have switched around and then c and b have stayed in the same positions but they've become negative. Um, so basically whatever number they were has been multiplied by minus 1. Now this quantity A, D minus B, C is referred to as the determinant of the matrix and if it's zero it means that the matrix will not have an inverse. Okay so that's been a video about the inverse of a matrix. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.